everybody um welcome back we're gonna do a, a quick proof here and we're gonna show um this quadrilateral with vertices g h i and j is a rectangle okay and what we wrote up there earlier was um well the method would be like this if we show that the diagonals are congruent then that proves it's a rectangle um if we can show that it has one right angle it's a rectangle then we've already we know it's a quadrilateral, right? But I always like to show a graph just so we can wrap our head around this thing um, in terms of the points. And I've already graphed it. You might use graph paper. And, you know, and since we're all remote learning and in these the digital stuff, I think GeoGebra is a great tool. I've been using it um, constantly. Um, so if you want to see the syntax and how you enter points in GeoGebra, um, you go to this little sheet here, and you, you, you define them this way, like G equals 1, 1. And this is H equals 5, 3, and so on and so forth. So that's how you enter these things into the um, GeoGebra. All right, so we, we graph these points, and it clearly does look like a rectangle, right? But again, saying something looks like it is not proof that it is. It might You might say, well, I know it is, so... It's a waste of time, but the whole exercise here is to prove it. Now, in Math 2, you're going to do a lot of proving. You know, you're going to have a lot of geometry to do, so try not to be too resistant to that idea because it is something you will have to do. All right, so what I've done first here is um, uh, I, we, we, last time we took the path of slopes, right? We said, okay, now um, we did the parallelogram proof. We proved they were the same slopes, and these would be two, but... Uh, one pathway would be to say, let's uh, prove that JG is perpendicular to GH. That could be done. All right? That'd be one way to do it. We could just show that one of them is a right angle. We're done. Or we could prove that uh, line line segment uh, GI is the same as or congruent uh, to JH. So these are your diagonals, right? In other words, we kind of want to do this. I'm going to just connect the dots for a second here. We want to show that these two things are equal length. And if we do that, we have proved this. Now, I'm going to choose this route just because on the last one I didn't do it that way. And um, I think it would be kind of cool to do one a little bit different here. And this stuff can get boring. Let's do it. Um, all right, so what I've done so far on this proof, and all I've done is written the coordinates down so I can see them to work with them. And... Um, and I'm going to write a we must show statement first because I like to keep make it very clear how I'm going to prove this thing. So we'll start with this statement showing what we want to show. Uh, we must show. What are we going to have to show? We need to show, and then you can go back and look at the picture, that lines JH... The length of JH is equal to the length of GI. And, all right, that's what we need to do. All right, so to begin to do this, what do we know about finding lengths? Well, the distance formula. So that's going to be our friend. So we're going to say um, the length of JH. Yes. Oh boy, oh, that's a tricky to draw straight like that. And that's not very straight. All right, I'm going to compute the distance between um, J and H. And I guess to do that, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, X1 or X2, X1, it really doesn't make any difference. I guess I'm doing them kind of backwards here, but I'm going to be squaring it anyway. So 5 minus 0 squared plus 3 minus 3 squared. And I didn't need that long of a thing after all, did I? That's going to be equal to, because that's going to give me 0. That's going to give me uh, 5 squared is 25. We'll write that. And the square root of that is 5. And we probably should say and the length of gi Let's calculate that really quick here. All right, what about GI? What's that going to give me here? Um, 
to keep consistent with my order, I'm just going to do it left to right again. 1 minus 4, square it, and 1 minus 5, square it. All right, what's that going to give me? Let's see, that's going to give me a 3, negative 3 actually, but squaring a negative 3 is just going to give me a 9. Sorry about that little mark there. I have to kind of ignore that. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Square it. I think we get a 16, which is equal to square root of 25. And that's also 5. All right, so we've shown that these two um, line segments are of equal length. And I guess to finish this up, we would say so. So. J H equals G I. And finally, we're just going to say we're done. Thus, the quadrilateral is a rectangle. Done. Um, you can, I know it's a pretty simple little proof there, and it, it's, they're actually, once you learn to do them, it's kind of satisfying to show that something is what you say it is. Just saying it's not enough, but we've showed mathematically that it is by the properties that we understand about rectangles. Um, anyway, this these videos that I've done, the coordinate geometry stuff, probably is enough for you to finish the school net. Um, depending on how time goes towards the end of the year, I'd like to do trapezoids and rhombus, and plural, I guess, is rhombi. But um, we'll see how time goes. For right now, I'm going to say this is probably enough to get you going. Um, so good luck on the school net. And let me know in Zoom if you have any trouble, and um, y'all be safe, okay?